Welcome back to Hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday. The only space we educate you and inform you on how you can, like, you can get extra cash or you actually even get chums if you didn't have any. So it's simple as that. That's what we do right here. It's all about money. It's all about talking about how you can make extra, extra money. So my name is Michelle Ashira at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media platform. And uh, this is the hour that we have been waiting for to just talk more about how we can get more money at the comfort of our homes and uh, at the comfort of just holding our phones. So it's online marketing. I am joined by Christine Mwaura. Uh, she deals with uh, an online business and also an online marketer. She'll tell us more about that. Thank you for creating time, Christine. Thank you How are you doing? Me. I'm good. How so about you? I'd like to find out, Christine, uh, but I, earlier on we were talking and you actually did project management in school. So how did you shift from project management to getting into an online business? Well, thank you so much for having me today. Well, when I finished high school, I, I thought that life outside is easy because when you were in school, you were told, get good grades, get go to campus, life is easy. But immediately mm -hmm. you were done with school and go to campus, that's when you know Kumbe life ni had. Mm -hmm. So well, I chose to do project management, which I studied in, a, which I, I really loved it. But when I finished, it was very hard for me to get a job. I could go from office to office looking for a job and they could ask me for experience that I didn't have. So well, I became so frustrated whereby I started looking for small jobs, mm -hmm. whereby getting a job these days is well too hard. Then when I was still online, I came up an, an, an online opportunity telling me you can make money online using your phone. I was like, hmm, mm. how is this? Okay. Because most people you could see on, the, on those posts, they're saying it is a scam, it is a scam. But for me, that time was so desperate. So I chose to be positive about it. So now that's when I knew about online business and I ventured into it. Okay, so you're going into online business. So how did you, what's this online business that you go into? And uh, how, so far, what's the experience like? Well, I'm now three years in the business. I started it back in 2016 when I was still a student in school. Mm -hmm. So I was doing school part-time and also doing online business part-time. But during that time, I was able to say I'm able to make well good money using the online business and I'm also able to save up some money and also help my parents to pay my school fees. So that is when I chose, I chose not after, when I was still, because I had told you before, after I cleared school, I'd looked for a job. Okay. So now that's when I took a priority that I'll do this as a full-time thing. Okay. Yes. So far, um, let's look at this online business, right? So far, um, how do one make money out of online business and uh, how can one actually get into it? Just for the purpose of people who are watching back at home and they will, they will just like to, you know, make cash at the end of the day, uh, another business venture that it is. So how do they get into it and uh, how do they make money in this particular online business? All right. So with this question, we have lots of online business right now. Mm -hmm. The thing is that how am I able to know a legitimate business? How am I able to know this business won't come and collapse? So one thing what people should understand is that be able to know how long has this business been in the market? How has it structured itself? Have people succeeded in it? Because there are some online business you might join and you might come and say, I wish I didn't join. Because saying I wish is always very bad. So what I'll advise the youth outside there, before you join only any online business, do your research. Sit down, do your research, check how long has it been the business. Then from there you can decide if you'll join it or not. Okay, so we have businesses that uh, they rank as pyramid scheme, which basically they run out of recruitment of members. Yes. They just bring in members in and then they sell uh, the ideology that uh, that you're actually going to make money out of this. But uh, at the end of the day, it can be, it, it is a Ponzi scheme whereby uh, new, blood is used, new blood money is used to just go back to pay the, the old investors into the business. So how can you identify a business which is a scam and actually a legit business? All right, so one thing, the major problem actually we face in online business is, is that people think in everything online is a scam. So mm -hmm. I can say about it, it's all about ignorance in the market. You find, uh, you find people think so much that this thing is a scam and it's all about ignorance. You say it is a scam, it's a Ponzi scheme because you had someone else say. Mm -hmm. 
Well, for me, I've, I've done the business for long. And one thing for you to know if it's a, if it's a Ponzi or not, how long has it been in the market? Still, mm -hmm. what are the kind of products or services do they have? Mm -hmm. Well, for me, the company that I do with, it's, we have no products. We deal with no products or any other so services. So what do you guys deal with? Uh, we majorly deal with shares and also whereby you can, because in every business, you mm -hmm. also have to maybe to show somebody an opportunity for them to join, okay. which is optional. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we majorly have shares in the business. Whereby right. you can make money using shares. Okay, so these shares are from, uh, uh, like, because I believe when, you, when you're buying shares, it could be in a company, a particular company, it could be uh, for, in a, maybe if it's a entertainment industry, for instance, if it's a gaming, there's, there are shares there. So these shares, so uh, what are these shares that we are buying? Actually, the business I do, it's all about gaming and e-gaming whereby you will get you'll get some shares using the platforms the companies that we've partnered with we it shared 50 50 percent okay yes all right so uh what's the method of uh, uh getting returns first of all are there is there capital that is needed when you're starting off in this online business of yours yes in every business even outside there if you need to put up a boutique mm -hmm. you need to invest money okay the same thing to our business it's a tiny investment. Oh, so uh, minimal, minimal capital, how much? Mm. Or oh, what is required? Is it membership? Yes. That we are doing here? Okay, so how much is it required for membership? Hmm. We have different packages. Okay. We have different packages mm -hmm. whereby, whereby you can join with different packages. Okay, so people buy different packages. That's yes. how you access into the business. All right, so, so far so good? Yes, uh, I've been able, I've been, for the longest time that I've done online business, mm -hmm. I feel it is a, it's a very big platform. I've been able to, to meet a lot of people. They have been able to achieve a lot, mm -hmm. whereby I can call them as my mentors because, because I'm, able, I'm able to see whatever they have achieved. And me being young, I know I can also achieve it. Mm -hmm. You get? Yes. All right. So for someone who is uh, skeptical or getting into uh, this, uh, getting into online business, what would you, what would be your advice to that particular person? My advice to people who think on, online business is a scam. What I'll tell you is, kindly, 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 don't, don't just. First of all, before you join any online business, just do your research. And what you're supposed to understand is, ignorance in the market is always there. Okay. Because an example, I can say. Like you, not everybody likes you, mm -hmm. right? That's true. You'll find some people talking ill about you. Some people are glad about you. Mm -hmm. The same thing to this same same business. People are talking ill about. Mm -hmm. People are making money. Mm -hmm. People have quit their jobs and now they are doing this business full time. Mm -hmm. That is a one question that you're supposed to check. All right. Yes. All right. So so far, do you have uh, a story like you know like that uh, like a who a who raised story whereby uh, you got like this particular profit amount to be like oh. Actually, it is not a scam. This is actually a business, a form of an investment. So what was the experience like for you? I can start with when I joined the business, uh, I still, because you see, I work in Akwanga, Wakilamtu. But when I made my first money, mm -hmm. I, when I withdrew it and it got into my impress, I was like, wow, this is a legit business. Mm -hmm. So since then, I Kaisha and I decided if this business, he is making this kind of money and he quit his job right. to do this business, why not me? Okay. Yes. So there it is, Christine Mora. She's telling me, she's telling us how to actually make money online, right? Don't be, uh, don't shy away from doing your research and, uh, and identify if it's a Ponzi, you know how to do. You just uh, don't, don't invest in that kind of a business. And if it's actually legit, Christine Mora. She says that you actually, it's a good form of investment. Online marketing at this, during these times of the pandemic, actually, it's, yeah. it's, it's the way to go for people to actually get into online business, right? Yeah, actually, during this time, most people, we find a lot of people have been laid off to jobs. Unapata, a lot of people have, mm -hmm. have lost their jobs. Actually, when, when Corona was starting, mm -hmm. you'll find a lot of memes saying those people who ignored what were online, mm -hmm. I guess you saw them, but were online, we now need them. Mm -hmm. And now it is very true because 
-hmm. People, as I said before, ignorance in the market is way too big. Right. So if you just choose just to see the opportunity and then for you to decide, it will be much more better rather than thinking everything is way to come and die. Okay, so how can people find you on social media, Christine? Before you help me uh, read some couple of comments, if my producer uh, can help me here. So you read comments on on uh, on our social accounts. That's that's at Y254 channel. But okay. before that, I'll let you to uh, give out your social uh, media accounts so that people can keep the conversation going with you and maybe you can tell them more about online uh, business. All right. So whoever is, I know people are watching me, and whoever would like to know more on the business that I'm doing, you can find me on Instagram. I'm Tina Moura, Moura with a H at the end. And on Facebook, Christine Moura. And still, you can get me on WhatsApp, whereby my number is 0711 785 Oh, wow, there it is, Christine Moura there. Uh, follow her and she'll tell, her, she'll tell you more about online business and how you can make a lucrative uh, money from that, especially during these uh, economical hard times, I told you. Entrepreneurship Tuesday is all about making money and ensuring that you get extra chums. So head on to our social media handle. That is at Y254.